greet you in the name of my Lord. All right, all right, all right. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, but I had a long week, and I made it. My tent got a little empty. I made it to the finish station. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then Mary, Mary, Mary came out with a song and said, I, you know, um, I love God. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. If you don't love I'm God, so. what's wrong with you? <laughs> so I got to thinking love, about that. I said, that's so silly. <laughs> when I got to thinking about it, I think and say, I love God. Yeah. I thought I was thinking about he made the heavens and the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he made really, all this really, thing. And this really, yeah. and us. pandemic that we going through, I got to remember that God has never lost a battle. Oh, Lord. Yes, sir. In Genesis, he said that, you know, I'm going to get the victory at the end. Uh -huh. yes. and we and just got to win. hold on to hold God's on. unchanging hold hands. On. Yes, sir. So today, yes, sir. we've been to come to worship God in yes, spirit and, and truth, truth. Yes. and we've been to just let him have his way in our life today. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't the main line. Tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. You just call him up and tell him what you want. Jesus is on the main line. come from the book of Philippians. We're going to be reading from Philippians 4. We're going to start with the 6th verse and we're going to go through the 8th verse. Amen. Again, that's Philippians 4, verses 6 through 8. And I will be reading to you this morning from the NIV version. All right. All right. All right. Do not be anxious about anything, mm -hmm. but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, My present your request to God. Yes. And the peace of God, yes. which transcends all 
understand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatsoever is true, mm. whatever is noble, yeah. whatever is right, and whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Mm. Amen. 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 God for the people of God. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. Come on, Pastor John. He's a good God. He's a good God. Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah. We just thank you this morning. Yeah. Praise him. Thank you, Lord. The songwriter penned, Lord, we keep on talking. Yes, sir. Through the storm and the rain. Right. 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 But our trust, O oh God, is in thee. Well, we come, O oh God, to lift up the name of Jesus this morning. Yeah, we do. We come, O oh God, to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. The thing as well as they are. Yes, sir. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you allowed your angels once again <laughs> to watch over us as we slumbered through the night. Thank you, Father. And then, O oh God, you saw fit to raise us yet one more time. Thank you, Master. That we are able to come out to the household of prayer. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. To our God who doeth all things well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Before we go any further, Lord, we wish that you would forgive us for our shortcomings. Forgive us, Lord. And yes, our sir. transgressions. Yes. Then, oh God, we come this morning acknowledging that thou art God. Yes. And besides thee, there is no yes. God. There is no God. We come this morning, oh God, not asking anything of thee. But we come, oh Lord, this morning to just worship you. In spirit and in truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We come to worship a God this morning who doing all things well. Yes, sir. We come this morning to worship a God who has promised never to leave us. Never to forsake us. Yes, Thank you, O oh God, Thank for the responders as they continue their most important work. Mm. But then, oh God, I want to aim a little lower this morning. Mm. I want to thank you for the first responders at Mount Carmel this morning. Yes, sir. Thank all you. All right. I want to thank you, O oh God, for your production team, yes. Brother Lawrence, Sister Kale, and even yes, Sister Jones. Yes, sir. I want to yes, thank sir. you this morning, oh God, for Pastor Jones this morning. Thank he you. He labors thank every you. Sunday and makes his way. Thank you, oh God, for this deacon board this morning. Yes, sir. He labor on every Sunday morning to come see that your word gets, gets out. Yes, then, oh God, we thank you for the trustees in the finance room this morning. Oh, yeah, thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh God, this morning for those cancer survivors this morning. Yes, yes, sir. We pray that we will testify this morning of your goodness Come on, pray and your you. mercy. Yes, sir. We come this morning, oh God, to thank you for all that you've done in our lives. Yes, we thank you, oh God, thank and we lift up to those families who believe this morning. Yes. We realize, oh God, that some have gone home. And not just some COVID, but they're just gone home. Yes. We thank you, oh God, that for that presence in our lives. We thank you, O oh God, and we pray that you lift up those families that are grieving this morning, well. hurting in whatever manner. Then, O oh God, we pray for those of us amongst us who don't look sick, who are sick. Yes, thank you, O oh God, for the strength to sir. make it down this morning. Yeah. But more than that, O oh God, yes, more than that, we come, O oh God, and say thank you thank for you. the one who came down the 42 generations. Oh, the one yeah. who came to the night. They hung them on an old rugged cross. Right. They stretched it wide, and they lifted them high. But he said, if I be lifted up, I draw all men. Thank you, O oh God, for that strong power this morning. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you for Christ Jesus this morning, O yeah, oh God. Yeah, thank you, Lord. We would, O oh God, that you just bless us as we stand in need. Bless yeah. you, thank you, O oh God, for your government this morning. Mm. And we said and lift up every renegade this Lord. morning. Every way. Every but then, O oh God, we would that you bless in a mighty way. Yeah, Lord. Bless the voters this morning, O oh God. Yes, yeah. sir. Bless the voters as they get out in in unheard of numbers, yeah. that your voice might be heard. Yes, sir. We were dying in a what a wondrous way, oh God. But you have your way, oh Lord. Yes, yes, your way. Bless, oh God, as we stand in need. For I heard you say in your word that if my people mm. who are called according to my name, yeah, yeah, will turn from their wicked ways and worship me, yes, seek my faith, then will I hear from heaven. My Lord. And I will heal their land. Yes, sir. We trust in your word, oh God. Oh, yeah. Be no shorter than your word. No yeah. shorter. Bless us, oh God, right now. Amen. As we stand in need. Use us, oh God, to thine own glory. Yes, sir. Bless our every endeavor that glorifies you. As we live to edify your church. Keep us forever humble and in love. Yes, sir. Thank you, oh God. Thank you. Oh, we can't yes, thank you enough, oh God. Yes, we just thank you this morning. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Because you. you're worthy. Please let have your way. In this place, henceforth, is our prayer in Jesus' name. 
And all the people of God said together, Amen. 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 Glory to our Glory God. To our Amen. holy and righteous
trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in him. I thank God for the victories in our lives. He has done so much for us. We're gonna, our congregational hymn is on the back uh, of your program today for those of you who are here. And for those of you who are listening, I will try I to go back to my own name. We're going to sing Victory Is Mine. Victory Is Mine. It's going to be a faster pace than you're used to, but Victory Is Mine. <laughs> This time our pulpit scripture for this morning is coming from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. In the language of the King James Version, it sounds like this. And let us not be weary in well-doing, yeah. for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Oh. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Yes. Yes. The church say amen. 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 To God be the glory for the things He has done. My Lord, with this blood He has raised us, and with this power He has saved. God be the glory. Yes, Lord. For the things He has done. Well, well. Let's be Father, we come as empty pitchers before a full fountain. Yes, sir. Come on now. Man. Waiting to be filled mm. by your precious Holy Spirit. Yeah. We thank you, Lord. We come to thank lift you, up Lord. your name. Yes, sir. For well, you said, if I, if I be lifted up from well, the earth, well. I'll draw all men unto me. You said it, Lord. God, we thank you, thank you that you are long-suffering, God. Because if you had not waited on me, mm. I don't know, I may not have been able to accept you. I may not able to be saved. But thank you. Thank you, Lord. For every now and then, I can feel your presence. Oh, yes. 
So God, we thank you for your saving power. We thank you for your healing power. Yes, we thank you for your deliverance power. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for your keeping power. Yes. God, you are doctor in a sick room. You are a lawyer in a courtroom. God, you are our protector. You are our God. God, we, we thank you that you still let us stay on this corner worshiping you in spirit and in truth. So I thank you, Lord, for our pastor and our first lady. Thank you for Dr. Seven and, and his wife and family. God, we thank you for every family among common. God, forgive us for our sins and our shortcomings. For we all have sins and come short of them all. I just come today to say, this joy this joy. This joy. That I had. The world didn't give it to me. All right. And the world can't take it away. Let's keep on telling the world that Jesus lives. Yes, sir. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Order my step. We'll sing this before our pastor comes with his message. Let us sing. Order my step in your word, dear Lord. Lead me, guide me every day. Send your anointing, Father, I pray. Order my step. To walk worthy. I want to walk worthy. My calling to fulfill all of my steps, Lord, and I'll do your blessed will. The world is ever changing, but you are still the same. But you are still the same If you order my steps I'll praise your name I want to walk worthy All right. I want to walk worthy My calling to fulfill Order my steps Lord, and I'll do your blessed will. The world is ever changing. The world is ever changing. But you are still the same. Thank you, Lord. But you are still the same. If you order my steps, I'll praise your Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Jones, and to each and every one of you that are present with us on today. We're going to open with this word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for allowing us to see another day we have never seen before. The health and strength that you've given us. I come asking now, O oh God, that you let the words of my mouth yeah. and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight today. Yeah. And then be with the hearers of your words today, O oh God, we need you, Lord. that together we will use your word as a lamp unto our feet yeah. and a light unto our pathway. Yeah. We ask that you be with us in this worship, and when we leave this place for the day, O oh God, we pray that we all together will be better, better. than we were when we arrived. Yeah. We'll be quick to give you the glory and the praise. Yes, sir. It's the master's name of Jesus Christ. Christ, we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Thanking and praising God for this opportunity oh, yeah. to be here uh, on today. Uh, honor and respect to our Pastor Meredith, Dr. Felker, and to Sister Shirley Felker, and to all of our officers that are present with us on today. I want to thank you, each and every one of you. I had opportunity to just uh, eavesdrop on the prayers, and I thank God for those first responders. Uh, that uh, go by the name of member of Mount Carmel Baptist yes, Church. Yes. 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 We're so grateful oh, yes. uh, for each and every one of you. And as we celebrate and worship on today, we want to also be mindful of the fact 
that we are celebrating breast cancer awareness. Yeah. And we've been doing it all this month, and we're so grateful for the presentation that we've had here at the church. Yes. Uh, that is a beautiful presentation done by uh, Sister Bird and Brother Dave uh, Key as they shared their labor of love uh, all right, to all right. uh, show this presence. And we're so thankful for uh, even having our own Sister Nicole speak earlier amen, this month. Amen. Uh, very well so about uh, the importance of breast cancer awareness. And we're grateful and prayerful uh, as we remember this month of seriousness as it relates to breast cancer awareness. I am so grateful that uh, speaking of first responders, uh, we have one of our brothers that is here with us today, and that is Brother Andre Dennis. Uh, we're so grateful to have him with us uh, on today. Amen. And of course, Sister Dennis. But we see Sister Dennis all the time. And we're so grateful uh, to have you guys uh, with us, and we're so thankful. Uh, but there is a word from the Lord, brother. Yes, sir. There is a word from the Lord, and that word comes from uh, our passage of Scripture that we read to you earlier, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to, I, I love the beauty of King James for this yeah. passage because it has such meaning even in its poetry for us today. Wow. And I want to read it for you now. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Uh, Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Yes, and you know, today, the title of today's message is Maintaining Determination. Right. Maintain, maintaining mm -hmm. Determination. But you know, there's another word for determination. There's a Swahili word that I put in there as well, and that is Kujichagalia. All right, Amen. All right. Say that three times fast, right? Yeah, Kujichagalia. Yeah. It is a Swahili word, which means self-determination. And so this passage of scripture calls on us today to maintain determination. Now, Webster defines determination as the act of deciding definitely and firmly. It also is defined as the firm or the fixed intention to achieve a desired end. Now, also in dealing with the word that I made mention to you of earlier, Kujichakalia, uh, Kujichakalia is the second day of Kwanzaa. Right, and you know, brothers right. and sisters, we don't have to wait till after Christmas to start talking about Kwanzaa. Uh, it becomes important for us to understand that. But it is a Swahili word that means self-determination. Right. And so it becomes important for us to understand today how important it is for us to maintain in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of this civil unrest, right. to maintain our determination. All right. Now, brothers and sisters, determination is an important characteristic in life. It is what keeps us going when we rather give up. Yeah. Determination keeps us from quitting a demanding job. Determination keeps us from giving up too soon on a fragile marriage. Yeah. Determination helps us endure mm -hmm. life storms. Mm -hmm. Determination helps us battle enticing temptations mm -hmm. and persevere through terrible Tries. Yeah. You see, none of us, brothers and sisters, none of us can get through life without having determination. Yeah. All right. Living your life for the Lord mm -hmm. requires determination. Right. So. Now, on November 25th, 1980, the second of three boxing matches between Sugar Ray Leonard yeah. and Roberto oh. Duran <laughs> took place uh -huh. in the oh, Louisiana right. Superdome. Oh, in the first fight, held just five months earlier in Montreal, uh -huh. Duran won a unanimous decision. All right. uh -huh. However, the second fight was highly anticipated, uh -huh. but it ended abruptly in the eighth round. Uh -huh. Duran turned his back to the referee, waved his gloves in there, and said, no mas, no mas, no mas. No right. He said, no more, no more. No more. Some of y'all are looking at me like y'all saw that on ABC Wild World Sports. <laughs> he simply decided to resign from the fight and give up. It was amazing to watch. But you want to know something, brothers and sisters? What is more amazing to me is that many folk, before and during this pandemic, before and during this civil unrest, 
have resigned when it comes to worshiping God. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Many folk have thrown in the towel. Many have turned their backs and said, no mas. They have said, no more. And you want to know something? It's not just worship that people have given up on. People have given up on our youth. People have given up on our men. People have given up on our community. Yeah. You see, brothers and sisters, it takes determination to worship. Yeah. And I, I didn't say it takes determination to go to church. Uh -huh. I said it takes determination to worship uh -huh. God. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Uh -huh. It takes determination to mentor, to challenge, and to chastise our young people. Uh -huh. It takes determination to regain the trust and reinstall confidence in our men. Uh -huh. Let's be real, brothers and sisters. The church has lost the trust of our men. And it is up to us to reinstill, regain the trust of our men and reinstill the confidence that we need to have in our men. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. It takes determination to say that I'm going to build and stabilize my community instead of leaving it. I want you to hear me today. We must maintain determination because the worship and work that needs to be done is too important to leave undone. We must maintain determination because the direction of the souls of our men and our women, our boys and our girls is hanging in the balance. We must maintain determination because the direction of our neighborhoods and our communities and, and our country. And yes, I said our country. Because yes, yes, it is. It's our country. Because we was brought over here for free. We didn't ask to come here. We was made to till the soil. We was made to build the building. We was made to cultivate the land. We built this country. And how dare some people put on some cap and say, we want our country back. This is our country. Everybody that's here, I love it. The way Jesse Jackson used to say it years ago. Everybody over here, everybody here is a boat person. Mm. Whether you came on the Nina, the Pinta, or the Santa Maria, yes, or whether you came on a slave ship, yeah. you all came. We're all boat people. Oh. But guess what? We're all in the same boat now. Yes. And so it becomes important for us to understand that we must maintain determination if we're going to rebuild our country. Yes, I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. Now, let's take a look at the passage. Let's take a look at Galatians Chapter 6, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Now, our passage today in Galatians 6, 9, the A clause yeah. says these words. And let us not let be us weary. Not be let us not be weary. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, let us not be weary maintaining determination. All right, all right. For maintaining determination is not easy. Uh -huh. Maintaining determination may cause you to lose some so-called friends. Yeah. Notice I didn't say you will lose friends, because if you can lose them, they weren't friends in the first place. Right. I wonder you hear what I'm saying today. Maintaining determination may cause you to be misunderstood. Yeah. And maintaining determination may create for you some new enemies. Yeah. We already have some enemies, well, but when you maintain determination, sometimes it creates some new enemies. Well, well. So let's take a look at our passage today in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, the B clause. Mm -hmm. The B clause says, in well-doing. Yeah. Yeah. You see, well-doing is not connected to you doing well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to repeat that again. Right. Well-doing right. is not connected to you doing well. Uh -huh. God wants you to do well. Yeah. God wants you to have things. But God wants you to also concentrate on well-doing. Yeah. What are you doing for someone else? Yeah. Well-doing is about emptying yourself so that God can fill you when you come to worship Him. Right. We should come to worship God empty yeah. so that He can fill yeah. us yeah. with His Word and with His Spirit. Well-doing is about mentoring and challenging and chastising our young people. Being able to guide them where they need guiding. Being able to motivate them when they need motivating. And yeah. being able to look them in the eye with respect and tell them that they're wrong. All right. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. Yeah. I can remember many times, there were times when my mom would let me go places. Mm -hmm. But then there were times when she wouldn't. Uh -huh. And you know, and I was like the average child. Whenever I couldn't go nowhere, she was the worst mama in the world. Mm -hmm. You know? 
And uh, and you know, and 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 the biggest the biggest challenge that we had, Brother James, in my neighborhood was you all know about the light when the light come on, right? Yes, sir. You got to be in the house when they be at the house when the light. Well, the light was in front of our house. The light post was in front of our house. Okay. And so we had to be at home when the light came on. And, you know, and, and it just seemed to me that my mom was so hard. And she always sometimes, and she had no problem telling me what I couldn't do in front of my friends. You know, you know sometimes you want your mom to tell you no in private. You don't want her to, like, bust you out in front of your, your friends. But, you know, a strange thing happened. Strange thing happened, Brother Stickers. I would talk to some of my friends, and some of my friends would say to me, you know, I wish my mama was like your mama. And I said, well, what you mean? They said, well, my mama always tell me, get out the house. My mama don't care when I come back, because my mama don't care. She said, but your mama cares about you. And so, brothers and sisters, sometimes we don't pay any attention at all, but we miss the reality of the challenge that we have. Sometimes it becomes important to say no. Sometimes it becomes important to correct. Sometimes it becomes important to chastise our young people. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Well doing is about regaining the trust and reinstalling the confidence in our men. Our men need to know that the church trusts them. Our, our men need to know that they can trust the church. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Our men need to know that we have confidence in yeah. them being all that they can be. Yes, sir. Okay, I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. Yes, now, well-doing is also about building and stabilizing our communities. Uh -huh. Well-doing is about voting in every election. Yes, sir. Not just the big elections, every election. Yes, uh -huh. Well-doing is about holding accountable the people that you vote for. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying today. Oh, yeah. And then, well-doing is about doing good to all people. Yes, and so the B clause of Galatians chapter 6 says simply, in well-doing. Well. So it becomes important for us to understand that. But moving on, we see that the passage today in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, the C clause mm -hmm. says these words, for in due season, in due season. we shall reap. Mm -hmm. Now, it's important for us to understand, you all, that we anticipate good results in uh -huh. due season. But do not stand still waiting for good results. That's right. Keep it moving. Yeah. Don't, that, you know, I will trust in the Lord. Yeah. But you got to keep it moving. Yeah. You know that the Lord is going to make a way somehow. somehow. You keep it moving. Yeah. I turn it over to the Lord for him to work it out. I still got to keep it moving. Yeah. I, I pray to the Lord and I pray to the Lord and I Preach turn it God. over Preach. to Jesus and stop worrying about it. I got to still keep it moving. I want to hear what I'm saying. We anticipate good results. Guess what? And, and the, the answers that God, any answer that God give you is a good one. Yes, I'm going to repeat that again. Say, any answer that God gives you is a good one. If he gives you yes, that's a good answer. If he gives you wait, that's a good answer. If he gives you no, that's a good answer. Every answer he gives us is a good answer. We anticipate good results in due season because God promised good results. We anticipate Good results in due season because looking back, mm -hmm. we know, I know I know, yes, and I know you know, yes, that God did it before, and if he did it before, God can do it again. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. Thanks be unto God. But then our passage today in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, the D call says, if we faint not. Now, the only most important condition is that we Faith not. And what does that mean? You guessed it. It means to maintain determination. Okay? Brothers and sisters, we must maintain determination when the road gets rough. We must maintain determination when the going gets tough. We must maintain determination when the hills get hard to climb. We must maintain determination even though you may get sick or you may get infected. We must maintain determination even though folk in your family may get sick and may get infected. Yeah. You must maintain determination even when you may have tragedy amongst your family yeah. and your friends. Yeah. We've got to maintain determination. For the Bible says that we should not 
thing. I wanted to hear what I'm saying. Our passage today in Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says, Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Now, I'm through now. Yeah. But I'm like Dr. Carey, but my soul is happy. Yeah. Okay, that becomes important for us to understand something today, brothers and sisters. And that is, we made determination because our Bible says, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Yeah. Neither be thou in this against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass. We have to maintain determination because the Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delighted in his way. And though he fall, he won't be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. We ought to maintain determination because I was young, but now I am old. And I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. We should maintain determination because our Bible lets us know that Jesus bled, yeah. he suffered, and he died for yeah. our sins. Yeah. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying today. Yeah. But thanks be unto God, that's not the end of the story. Yeah. On the morning of the third day, yeah. which is the first day of the week, yeah. he got up and he cried all power. Yeah. I don't know about you, but when he got up, I got up, and you got up. And now we must maintain determination. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. as you are. Yeah. Candidate for baptism. Mm -hmm. Christian experience or by love. Yes, we symbolically and actually put this cheer out for you and those that are under the sound of my voice today. Right. We want you to know that you can call the number that's on the screen. All right. And if you don't have a screen, it's 312-225-0510. That's the yeah. church number. Yes, sir. Someone will talk to you about the plan of salvation. Plan of salvation. It's important for you to come to right. Jesus. Right. But not only because you can you come to Jesus, but we invite you to come back to Jesus. Yes, sir. Because some of you, you've been saved. Yeah. You've been in the church. But you've fallen out of fellowship. Yeah. You stopped going. Yeah. You stopped connecting. Yeah. And this whole pandemic has caused you to take another look at who you are. We want you to know Jesus is waiting on you. Don't be ashamed. If you don't, don't worry, nobody's going to say you can't run it back because you're scared. You ought to come running back if you're afraid. You ought to come running to Jesus. Jesus is waiting for you to come to him just as you are today. Won't you come to him today? Won't you trust him today? Trust him today. Won't you come? He will save you. Trust in him and never doubt. He'll bring you out. Trust him today. He will save Won't you come today? He will save you. Only trust him. Only trust him. Only trust him. Won't you trust him today? Won't you trust him today? Even if you're in this building, you're not sound enough for Trust him Trust him today. Lord, oh, yeah. we have done as the Lord command. Though the Lord has chosen to come, there is yet room. room. And not only is there room, but there are opportunities for witnessing. Yes, sir. We want you to know if the Spirit of God, if the Holy Spirit moves upon your heart this week, Amen. just give us a call. Yes, and we will respond to you because you're just that important to us. Oh, yes, sir. May God bless you and may God keep you. At this time, we'll have our offertory appeal and prayer. Amen. Man, man, man. What a wonderful word by Pastor Jones. And that's what it is. We got to learn to trust God. Mm. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yes, sir. Come on, man. And the, the, work, the word of the Lord is be obedient unto God. Bring your tithes and offerings into the church yeah. that there may be meat mm. in the storehouse. Right. 
I know people think, some, some people just think meat is that food and things of that nature. No, we got to have lights on, we got to have gas, and all those things are necessary. It costs to open up these church doors Amen. every time they get open. That's right. And that's what our tithes are for, to maintain and continue to do those things, to that's continue right. to get the word out to those yeah, who yeah. can't get down here. Right. Lord, Come on, man. through the pandemic, Malcolm has continued to be open. Yeah. Not Thank one you, day closed. Yeah. And it's thanks be unto God. We must trust and praise and believe that God can do all things, all things. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for another day, another day that has come that shall never come again. We thank you for allowing us to amongst, allowing us to come together, just these few gatherings in the church house, Lord. But we need everybody to just Check their hearts, Lord. Check their mind and do what's necessary to make the church continue to grow. Finance is needed, Lord. Please, sir, just help those who haven't come up to tithe. Bless those who would love to tithe but cannot. Trust and believe in God. If you obey his will, he will take care of you. I learned a long time ago that dime out of a dollar didn't hurt me. And I don't care how much it grows. If it becomes a hundred out of a thousand, it won't hurt you. God will, will. take care of you. That 99 that he leaves you with, that 90% that he leaves you with, will carry you through. I've learned. I've tried. And I have no problem with giving God mine. The Lord loves a cheerful gift. But he will open up a room. A window and pour out a blessing that you won't have room to receive. Trust and believe. Bring your tithes and offering to the church house. Please, son, just trust God. Hold on to his unchanging hand. He'll make a way out of no way. I've learned and I've found out for myself. Thanks be unto God for giving. Now let's give back to the Lord. In Jesus' name, we just pray and say Amen. 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 I want to tell my dad happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> uh, the chairman of our deacon board. Happy birthday, Pops. I love you and I appreciate the things you have taught me. As well as a happy birthday to my stepdaughter and my granddaughter. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you very much. Just want to give you by way of an announcement. I want to let you know that the uh, first cousin of our own sister, Yvonne Taylor, <coughs> sister by the name of Mary L. Thornton, uh, passed, and her arrangements are as follows. The service will be, the visitation will be Wednesday, November the 4th, from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Corbin Funeral Home, and that's at 5345 West Madison Street. The service is going to be the next day, November 5th. I believe that's Thursday, November 5th from 10 to 10.30 uh, at, at Our Lady of Sorrow on 31, 21 West Jackson. And the interment is going to be at Queen of Heaven Cemetery in Hillside, Illinois. Let's be prayerful for our own sister, Yvonne Taylor. Amen. Amen. And her family. Amen. Amen. I want to take this moment to say thank you to the members of Mount Carmel for viewing and for supporting your church. Amen. Now, it's important for us to understand, brothers and sisters, that in the state of Illinois, according to the Chicago Tribune, on Saturday, we had a record of 6,161 new cases and 63 deaths. Brothers and sisters, uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. But it looks like a second wave to me. Well, yes, sir. Amen. And so it is important for us to be diligent and to be careful. Now, please don't forget to vote. Amen. And I know that many of you have already voted. Yes. And if you're going to vote by mail, make sure that you do what you need to do to get your ballot and That's mail right. it in. Uh, it's also important to understand that uh, you can, for, for some folk who may not have yet registered to vote, don't let folk tell you that it's too late to register to vote. It's not too late All right. in the city of Chicago. You can register to vote up until and on election day. Oh, day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely sure. Yes, sir. 
make absolutely sure that you have proof of your address and you have picture ID. And you must do it in person Man. if you're going to register. Because the unfortunate reality is there are some people that have not registered. Amen. Now, there is an unfortunate reality uh, that, that I have a concern about uh, as it relates to the election. And, you know, we've been looking at the tremendous numbers of people who've been voting all over the country, yeah. the lines. But, Amen. brothers and sisters, my concern is the after effects of voter suppression. Yeah. And what I mean by that is the spoiling of ballots. Yeah. The discrediting of ballots. Yes, I hope and pray that those evil forces don't find ways to discredit well, well. these mm -hmm. millions of votes Amen. that are coming in because people are going to do all that they can yeah. to keep their way. I wonder, do you hear what I'm saying today? Now, I want to give kudos to Sister Amaya Crockle, Amen. who's the daughter of Brother Wayne and Sister Cynthia Crockle. Amaya had her coronation right. to be crowned as Miss Clark Atlanta University. Right. Amen. Yeah. And that was on this past, this past Thursday evening. And it was a wonderful, it was a wonderful event. And she was beautiful. All right. uh, and handled herself with poise and dignity. Yeah. And I was very proud to right. be her pastor. Amen. Amen. And to know her family. Now I want to take this opportunity, Brother Shed jumped in front of me, but that's all right. I want to take this opportunity to say uh, happy birthday. Uh, to our chairman, Brother Taylor. Amen. 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 And to also our member who uh, is here with us every Sunday, uh, yeah. Brother Willie Brayboy. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And so we're going to make absolutely sure. And to all of you who are having birthdays today or this week, we wish you a very happy and blessed birthday. Yes, sir. Uh, we ask that you all would be mindful and be careful. Uh, as we prepare ourselves for this up and coming uh, week of activities and actions in our city. Wow. Uh, we, know, we know what has been going on. We know about all of the new stipulations that have been brought upon us. And so we just ask that we make absolutely sure that we're careful and we're uh, diligent and diligent about that. Uh, I do want to say that for those of you that would like to uh, look in uh, on our state board meeting, uh, I can email you the link, all right. uh, the Zoom link. And I'll get that to you uh, via email. It starts on Tuesday at 10. And I'll get it to you. The only problem with it is that, uh, unfortunately, unless they do something different, you'll have to type in the numbers. Uh, you know, you'd have to go to the Zoom uh, app itself and then type in the numbers. Uh, but I'll send you that information, the ID numbers and all of that good stuff, as well as the dialing in with the dialing in code. I'll send that to you as well. And so, yeah. Okay, and I'll post it. I'll be. I'll post it on our social media site Amen. as well. Amen. So you can go there. Amen. All right. So uh, with all that being said, uh, let us prepare uh, to go down from this place. Let us stand for the benediction. Now, unto Him that is able to keep you from falling, yes. that you fall before the presence of His glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forevermore. Until we meet again, let's all say amen. 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 amen.